So this is a related rates problem from the AP 2002. Before I actually start discussing the related rates aspect, I'm going to illustrate how the chain rule is applied in these problems. Later in this problem, we're going to do something uh, where we have a variable S squared. And we're going to take its derivative with respect to T. And we're going to say that that's 2s times ds dt. And you've probably heard your teacher say that this is the chain rule. And you've probably said, well, that doesn't look like the chain rule. But I know. And the first way that I'll try to convince you is that this is ds squared ds times ds dt. These aren't fractions. It's not like the ds is cancel, but if you want to use that to remember what's legal, then that's fine. Um, and if I'm taking the derivative of s squared with respect to s, that's just a regular derivative. And like I said, we can think of this ds and this ds as quote unquote canceling. To illustrate it a little further, let's just say that what if s is sine t? Then what if I want to differentiate d sine squared t dt? Well, if you're experienced with the chain rule, you're just going to say, well, that's 2 sine t times cosine t. And if you look, what we have here is exactly 2s, because s is sine t. And what we have here is exactly ds dt. So this whole method is not so foreign. It's just that we're abbreviating a lot of what you're used to with the chain rule because we actually don't know what this function s is. We're just taking its derivative symbolically. Hopefully that sheds a little light on what's actually going on. Now, ship A, traveling west, ship B, traveling north, X is the variable for ship A, Y is the variable for ship B. X is getting smaller if ship A is traveling due west, that means DX DT is going to be negative 15 and dy dt is going to be positive 10. What I'm starting to do here is organize my information that the problem is telling me in terms of calculus. The one bit that we have to provide is a name for this distance right here, and we'll call that s. And hopefully you're used to s squared equals x squared plus y squared. It's a rather well-known theorem uh, of Greek origin, I believe. We are going to d dt this. So... I take the derivative with respect to t, which is what you always do in these related rates problems. Everything is uh, finding change with respect to time. 2s times ds dt equals 2x times dx dt plus 2y times dy dt. Uh, part A, find the distance in kilometers between ship A and ship B when X is 4 and Y is 3. Hopefully, you can see right away that that's 5 because X is 4, 4 squared plus 3 squared equals 5 squared. 
Find the rate of change in kilometers per hour of the distance between the two ships when x is 4 and y is 3. That's a simple matter of plugging in 2 times 5 times ds dt, which is what we're going to solve for. And that's equal to 2 times 4 times dx dt was minus 15. So this part is minus 15, and then plus 2y, sorry, y is uh, 3. So 2 times 3 times 10, um, that gives you something algebraic which you can solve for ds dt, uh, what is this? 2 times 4, this is negative 120, this is plus 60, negative 60 equals 10 ds dt, which tells us that ds dt is negative 6. Let's see if that makes sense. Yes, they're getting closer because ship B is leaving at a slower rate than ship A is approaching. Let theta be at the angle shown in the figure. Find the rate of change of theta. Um, probably the easiest way to do this is to say tangent theta is y over x. We could differentiate this with some quotient rule stuff. I personally am not a fan of the quotient rule. So I'm going to write this instead as x tangent theta equals y. Now I'm going to ddt this. And that's going to give me something with the product rule on the left. I'm going to get dx dt times tangent theta plus x times uh, secant squared theta times d theta dt. And that's going to be equal to dy dt. Now, if our triangle is 4, 3, and here's theta, then tangent theta is going to be 3 over 4. And secant theta is 5 over 4, so secant squared theta is like 25 over 16. So this gives you all the ingredients that you need to solve this equation. So ultimately dx dt is minus 15 tangent theta is 3 over 4 plus x is 3 times secant squared theta is 25 over 16 secant's 1 over cosine times d theta dt, which is our mystery value. And that's equal to dy dt, which was 10. And you can probably solve this for yourself. Straightforward related rates problem. There are a bunch that are like this. Uh, hope you learned something.